Good morning. I wanted to share with you a quick Dollar Tree haul. And this was done yesterday, the beginning of February. So these items should most likely be at your Dollar Tree. So let's get started. Um, the first thing I found that I thought was um, a step up for Dollar Tree are these 500 piece puzzles and um, the finished puzzle will be 14 by 11 inches and this one is of a charming little cobblestone street um, that I thought was just really pretty and what I'm going to use these for since I bought four of them um, I'm going to use them as prizes at my daughter's bridal shower. Um, it's just something different. Uh, what do you guys think? Would this be something you'd be happy to get as a little door prize or, um, you know, game winner prize at a bridal shower? What do you guys think? Um, let me know in the comments below. This one is of Old Fashioned Toys. And again, 500 pieces. I just thought it was really cute. And then the next one is um, like a garden, maybe a, a little bistro, or a flower market. Maybe that's what it is, guys, a little flower market. Um, but anyways, I just thought it was super cute and a bit different. Uh, usually when I go to bridal showers, I come home with a candle or a kitchen dishcloth, which is absolutely fine. Um, I just thought this might be something different. <laughs> and here's a little um, travel memorabilia themed puzzle. I thought that was kind of cute. So, yeah. Let me know what you think. And then for that bridal shower, I got a pack of these um, very large doilies. Let's see, they are 10 inches, and they're in a pale pink. There's 16 of them, and you'll have to excuse if you hear my dogs barking. <laughs> um, they, If I'm not within eyesight, if they can't see me, um, they are not happy, so sorry. <laughs> But, um, so these heart doilies um, are going to be strung along the wall behind the gift table where uh, my daughter will be sitting. So not really the gift table, probably, I guess we'll call it the head table, and uh, she will be opening her gifts there. But anyways, we're going to um, write uh, Mrs and then uh, her new last name, Parsons. So these will be hanging up on the wall with um, letters inside. So M-R-S and then below it P-A-R-S-O-N-S. -S. So that's what we're going to use those for. Um, I also picked up a pack of plastic forks and they're white. There's 48 here in the package. And what I'm going to do is, I saw a cool little decorative touch on, I think it was on Pinterest, where you um, take a, a plastic utensil and you fold a cupcake liner in half and glue the sides. So it sort of looks like a little dress or a skirt, and then you tie a ribbon. Um, around the fork as well um, and of course there's so many different uh, designs of cupcake liners that you could find one with colors to match the shower so just a little something I'm gonna try I'm not sure if I'm going to like how it looks but we'll see we'll see if it turns out it something I might want to do for the shower and then um, I got a bottle of the tension headache relief 24 caplets it's acetaminophen and caffeine. Um, so I picked up those for my husband. And I picked up ibuprofen for myself. And it's liquid filled ibuprofen capsules, 200 milligrams each. And you get 10 of the soft gels. So um, I'm going to try those. 
I usually get the little orange tablets. Um, and then I got a, a little bit of burlap ribbon. And it's three inches by three yards. And I think we're going to um, use this as decor um, at the shower as well. Um, the mascara that I currently use, or had been using, I have had for way too long. So I thought for a dollar I'll give this Color Mates mascara a try. And it's in black, and it says it's paraben free. So, I mean, for a dollar, we'll see if I like it. And then, if you recall in my last um, haul, I tried the Lance Lemo Lunch cookies. They were delicious, so I picked up another pack. Um, the peanut butter and crackers, uh, toasty crackers is what they're calling them. Um, I'm going to try those. I'm sure they'll be just as good. Uh, my husband um, wanted to try these cranberry and raisin boxes. So each box is like 0.75 ounces, cholesterol free, uh, it says fast energy fruit. So you get six boxes for a dollar and he's going to give those a try, see if he likes those. And then I wanted to share with you, um, I've been stocking up on, oh what a bad glare, sorry guys. Um, I've been stocking up on this perfume. It's called Just Vivacious, and it's their dupe for Juicy Couture. And um, I really, really, or I'm sorry, it's their dupe for Viva La Juicy by Juicy Couture. <laughs> and um, I really, really, in my opinion, think that it is... Um, Identical. It smells exactly like it to me. <laughs> so um, this will go in my little stash. I've got probably five or six in the cupboard. Um, just so that I'll have it because I really like it. And then another thing that the Dollar Tree is pulling out. Um, they're getting on the bandwagon with the adult coloring books. And so we picked up uh, my husband and I, the three that they had, which retailed for $3.95, and they're calling them Designer Series Places to Color, Your Passport to Travel. <laughs> um, so, let's see. On the inside, there are, let's see if I can do this for you guys, lots of buildings and scenes. to color and I just thought that I would give it a try. Um, I've seen a lot of coloring books, adult coloring books at Michael's and Joann's but they're so pricey. They're at least $9.95 or $9.99 and up and um, I apologize for my dog. I don't know why. I mean I do know why. <laughs> She can't see me, so she's having a little panic attack, so I'll make this quick. Um, anyways, they're so pricey, right? And the ones in Barnes & Noble, um, they're just too expensive. So, um, we picked these up to see if we would like these. And this one is Wildlife. And let's see if I can get... What is this guy? Ooh, Snake. <laughs> So, I'm just glad to see that they have a few things that are on trend right now um, at the Dollar Tree. I think they're doing a good job. They're really stepping up their game. So, I think this is going to be fun to color. And, let's see, the last one is color patterns. Oh, very nice. Some of these are so intricate that I really feel like I might go crazy trying to color them. Like that one, I don't know. I kind of like big chunky pictures. Do you guys, I don't know, how do you feel about these? I mean, of course, the price is right. It was only a dollar, and I'll give it a whirl. But 
that one's not too bad. I don't know, some of them that are just so intricate and small. And like that one, that really might be up someone's alley, but I don't know. Um, but you sure do have a good selection. <clears throat> and uh, I'm glad I found these. So... I better go see what my puppies want. They're not puppies. I call them puppies. The one that you hear barking is a black lab. And she is about 13 or 14 years old. And when she doesn't see me, she's sad, as you can hear. Um, and then we have a one-year-old Belgian Malinois who um, can be just as loud, but... I guess she's napping, so I'm going to go check out the dogs, see if they want to go outside. It was snowing here in Michigan this morning on February 4th. <laughs> um, so I hope you're, ha you're all having a great day. Leave me some comments if you'd like. Let me know what you think about those puzzles, yay or nay. Um, go ahead and subscribe if you're new. And give me a thumbs up. That would be wonderful, guys. I'll talk to you soon. Bye.